Another week, another round at the top of the table, and another episode of Bay 46. I'm James Trudenik. Thank you for tuning in on game day for what will be our third last home fixture of the season, at least until the final series anyway. And in fact, it will be the third last fixture here at Pertex Stadium, as it currently stands, before the whole thing is knocked down and rebuilt. Now, if you thought Wonderland was imposing now, just wait until our new $300 million, 30,000-seat stadium comes together. A little shed, as described by one rival A-League coach who shall remain nameless, Graham Arnold, will soon be the envy of the league. Meanwhile, on the field, the Wanderers boys are sitting very pretty, returning to the top of the table after a one-all draw with Sydney FC last week. It wasn't our most polished performance, but Dario Vitisic's sublime header was enough to secure a point which allowed us to leapfrog Brisbane and return to the top of the table. And what about that away support? It's not very often that a team can travel to an away stadium and make it feel like a home match. But then again, you guys aren't your average set of fans and the Wanderers are very thankful for it. He's hoping we can carry that momentum off the pitch and into tonight's game. And tonight's game against Perth Glory will be a tricky one. Perth are in fabulous form, having won their last five games, including last week's massive thumping of Brisbane Raw, 6-3. They now sit one point outside the top six, and if any team in the Hyundai A-League is desperate for a win this weekend, it's Perth. It's a thought not lost on Wanderers defender Scott Jamison, himself a former Perth Glory man, who spoke about how tight the ladder is looking in the Hyundai A-League. Well, seven games to go. You kind of figure every game's a test now, and especially after um, the way this, the, the tables panned out. I mean, I think five, six weeks ago, everyone thought the six was made, and um, ourselves in Brisbane were in a way, you know, looking f to, to sew up the top two and it's kind of uh, fallen into place now where it's tight as hell and uh, yeah, we're seven games to go. So I think regardless if we're playing Perth or, or Central Coast who, who are at the bottom, um, it just be just be as big as game. The Wanderers are set to be boosted by the return of Spanish defender Alberto after sitting out the last two games through suspension. Popper spoke yesterday about how important it was to have him return to the game. Yeah, he's, he's done very well for us. So it was a shame that we missed him for a couple of weeks for the reason that we did. Uh, so he was pretty disappointed with that himself. And, you know, he's been training really hard for a couple of weeks and you can see he's really determined uh, to get back out in the park and help the team. Uh, so that'll be a real boost. One man who'll be hoping to keep his spot in the starting 11 in tonight's game is the Wanderers' newest debutant, Liam Reddy. Reddy put in a very solid performance against Sydney FC in last weekend's game both with the ball in his hands and when commanding the back four. Let's not forget, he is one of Australia's most experienced goalkeepers, and if Popper does decide to use him in tonight's game, no doubt the back four will be very confident, knowing that Reddy has their back. Now, as previously mentioned, the Wanderers are sitting at the top of the Hyundai A-League ladder, and they are the team to beat. And although the Premier's plate is firmly within reach, the boys should not be feeling any pressure, because as we know, when the Wanderers are firing, they are damn near impossible to catch. Well, that's all for another week of Bay 46. Do not forget, the Western Sydney Wanderers play Perth Glory here, Perth Tech Stadium tonight. Kickoff is at 7.40 p.m. If you can't make it, it is being televised, SBS2 and Fox Sports 505. It's a lot of words. My name is James Trudinick. I'll see you next time.